Hello YouTube world, Mac Daddy 1911 May 1 here with the Shade Tree Survivalist. The GI multi-tool for the M14 rifle, the original nail spec tool that came with it. Multi multi-function and it is an awesome addition and they're cheap as dirt. You can buy them at Brownells, Midway USA and just about all the forums that have anything to do with the M14 rifle. Now the EBR forums they have a more modern tool. This actually looks like a, uh, almost like a Leatherman or something. I think it Gerber makes it, but I'm, it may be a Leatherman. I don't remember, but it has all the tools depending on which EBR setup you have, depending on what type of stock and so forth from Sage International. You can buy those directly from a Sage or whatever the case may be. My rifle is modeled on the uh, EBR Rock Island Armory version of the rifle. Um, so I would need that particular one, but it just depends on what you have. However, this tool is worth its weight in gold if you have a full-size model. The Scout model here is not exactly perfectly set up, but I'm going to show you some of the functions and what this baby can do. Okay, we've got it zoomed in on the rear sight, and I'll bring in multi-tool up here. Here it is. This is what it looks like, and on this end, you've got your the uh the box in uh wrench head of it but you also have a blade right here and that's the screwdriver for that screw right there okay so when you adjust this thing okay it's sort of like a scope when you zero it you loosen this screw up and you turn take that off move it back to your where your zero's at put your screw back in tighten it right back down that is what that is designed for okay it is also designed to be, if you had the bolt out, to press down into the face of the bolt and turn it and ease out, ease out on that darn uh, ejector and take the, it'll help you take the bolt apart. But that's dangerous. It is not recommended and there is a specialty tool for that. I also have it, but it is possible to do so with this particular tool. As I stated in an earlier video, it is also the T-handle for your GI cleaning rod. What, which I do not recommend because the rod is steel and it can damage the bore of the barrel and damage the rifling and so forth in there and that will destroy your freaking accuracy. So I would not use it anymore unless it's just a situation that dictates that you uh, absolutely have to have it in the field and you're carrying that in the butt stop. But the GI tool is wonderful for that. It is uh, multi-purpose. They're inexpensive. I don't think I paid more than, uh, I don't know, I doubt I even paid 20 bucks for this thing. Um, but they call it the GI Combination Tool 7790789. And there you go. If you can read that, I'm not sure. Get you a nice close up of it. Put the head up, it looks like. So, bolt disassembly tool, side adjustment, gas system disassembly, as well as cleaning rod T handle. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the new Squad Scout came with this particular uh, book. Uh, the original M1A, old Betsy, uh, the one I have in the EBR chassis nowadays, um, she also came with one of these books. And if you'll read through it, it has some helpful information, but does not have everything you need. But I'm going to show you a couple of highlighted spots in here so you guys can understand. Um, most people never read the technical data, and they really, really should if they intend on hanging on to a weapon so that they can not wear it out or destroy it early. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you see how it's curved down here at the bottom? I just learned something I had forgotten, or maybe I just overlooked it when I've read the uh, uh, Army uh, manual that comes with the rifle. You can use your combination tool, this end of it, the rounded hollow end, okay, to push the cartridges down on the stripper clip in directly into the magazine. 
Okay, here's uh, page 18 of this uh, book. Figure A shows how to use your both hands, a magazine out of weapon, and your combination tool to push at the base of each cartridge that is inserted in a stripper clip. And you have to have an adapter, which they still sell, by the way. And you can push them right directly into the magazine. You can use just your fingers and your thumb here in this one, figure B, loading by hand. And then you can use that steel butt plate as a base and attach your adapter, your stripper clip with your five cartridges and just use your hand to press it into the rifle's butt stock while you're holding the buttstock and you can load your magazines very quickly that way. I just thought that was pretty neat and I wanted to put that on video. Okay, and so this is page 16 and it showed with the magazine loaded into the rifle but empty or partially full how to use the stripper clip guide on the rifle and I'll zoom in on it here in a moment using your thumb to feed it Okay, and then pull your uh, stripper clip out. Next page, 17, how to use your combination wrench in conjunction with the rifle and the stripper clip guide to load your, fully load your magazines. Okay, say this is a partially loaded magazine and you have your stripper clip inserted into the stripper clip guide here. You would take your multi-tool, take the curve part and sit right on top of those cartridges and using your hand you would use it to force the cartridges down into the magazine i did know that was one of the uses for the multi-tool i had forgotten about or i did not uh really read that section of it or whatever the case may be but i'd forgotten regardless just figured i'd throw that in so you can use the multi-tool <clears throat> to help you speed load your magazines using the five round stripper clips that you can purchase for 762 51 nato ammunition